The first ever international symposium on mining, dubbed the Copper Belt Mining and Trade Expo Conference, has opened in Kitwe. The high-level two-day conference has attracted over 95 foreign exhibitors from Africa, Asia and Europe. The Chamber of Mines in Zambia is representing local mining firms at the fair, which is poised to become an annual event. Republican Vice President Guy Scott opened the conference, whose aim is to help create links for all those involved in mining. Dr. Scott used his presence at the conference to remind players in the mining sector to be accountable and transparent in their dealings. The Vice President also challenged mining firms to dialogue with government whenever they have problems. Dr. Scott has emphasized that money generated from the sector will be used on development. We are prepared to work with the mining industry, the private interests in the mining industry, on all these aspects, hand in hand. And the minister here spent a long time talking to some of the mining, or at least one of the mining companies in recent weeks, to get a common, a common understanding of the position. And I expect that we'll be doing it with other mining companies Indeed. over Indeed. the next, next year, over the next six months. So that, we, so that we see what's happening. We have a right to see what's happening. First of all, we own 20% of all of you as government. And these are Zambian resources. These are Zambian people working on these mines. These are, these are what God gave Zambia for good or evil. And I think we have every right to know exactly what's happening with it. Dr. Scott also cautioned mining firms on the need to reduce pollution in the areas they operate. The vice president also used the platform to remind local firms to venture into manufacturing. We've, we've managed to make ourselves dependent on foreign goods in preference to Zambian goods, even where we have no comparative disadvantage. Where you've got, uh, I mean, gum, don't tell me gum poles don't grow in Zambia, but they, they seem to come from Swaziland or South Africa Zimbabwe. in preference and Zimbabwe, in preference to growing our own, so much so that the people here are not used to selling them. Meanwhile, an expert in mining also advised local mining firms to create links with foreign exhibitors. And for the local suppliers, it's important that they come through to see the kind of products because it's not good to be content with the local products alone, but we can learn other things from other suppliers who are coming. Our local companies uh, can learn so much in terms of uh, uh, technical support uh, and uh, uh, proper organization of uh, products and uh, the company as a whole. And then also uh, we can learn from these guys uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing techniques and also uh, marketing uh, techniques. From the look of things and going by what has been seen at the expo, mining in Zambia still remains a very viable undertaking. Mishek Moyo, ZNBC News, in Kitwe.